Deftones, one week, guitar tabs and guitar lesson. I'll play through all the different sections right at the beginning. After that, I'll go back through, give the full explanation for everything. Before we get into it, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and you want to see more Deftone stuff. And now, let's get on into it. So this is Adrenaline Album, so we just have standard tuning, piece of cake, EAD, GBE, and a lot of dynamics to this one. Uh, just kind of hanging out down here for the initial uh, verse section. And some palm muting, uh, we just go from an open E to a 2. Alright, that's more or less just those couple notes muted. Alright, and then uh, last note, we hit the 2 that we're just at there and an open A under it. Okay, and that's what we're looking for. Just crank that out three times. Alright, and the final one is basically we just go open to two to three and then hit the open A under it. Okay, so just that one little note difference on the fourth time. And we would, you know, jam through that a handful of times and uh, then we kind of switch it and just make it kind of a legato note after that first one. So the open to two, hit it again with the open A, and then we just let them ring. All right, and then, so we're just kind of skipping the couple in the middle there and just uh, finishing with that open two to three. And then we can hit the open A and even throw in maybe like an open D under it just for, uh, for good measure there. And then we would just continue that final kind of letting ring legato section a couple times. For the chorus, kind of some descending power chords going on here. Uh, the initial one's kind of a cool one. We got the uh, C sharp at the 4A6 on the D and G. And we're adding the uh, G sharp bass note with it on the 4E. And it's just a couple strums there. And then we want to just shift up to the G sharp power chord. So we just take those uh, sixes on the D and G and just bring them up a set. All right, to the A and D, keeping that four on the E. And just a couple strums here for the G sharp. And then off to uh, E power chord. And I just kind of like to keep, you know, the ring and pinky where they're going and just slide those down because we're going to kind of need some of the some stuff under it here in a second. So, you know, we come off of this, slide it down to the open E power chord, two on the A and D with the open E, a couple strums. Kind of let that ring a moment. And then we'll want to hit like more of a E major, you know, chord under it. So just like the one G, that's where we want our index available. So, th and the open B and E. And then we switch to the second half, which is kind of a sliding power chord thing here from the F sharp at the two and fours on the uh, E, A, D here. 
So hit that, slide it up to the G at the three and fives, do a couple strums. Come back down to the F at the two and fours for about four strums. Come back up to the G, hit it, slide up to uh, a fifth fret here for the A, do a couple strums there. And then back down to the third fret and fives for the G for four strums. All right, this bridge section, just kind of a quick back and forth with a, a basically just hit a, an open low E note and then land on the F sharp power chord here at the two with the four on the A and D. Give it a couple strums there. And it's just cranking that out pretty quick, like uh, th three times and then kind of starting once again. And then a quick back off to the open E. We slide the two E up to three. Come down, hit a four D back to the three E. And then just repeat the whole thing. For the outro, uh, it gets kind of big power chords, just craziness going on. Um, just a back and forth between the F sharp at the two with the four on the A and the open power chord E. It's just one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, just does that a couple times and then does kind of a, a back off to the opens and hit the F once more. And then it kind of ends it three different ways. Uh, the main way is just kind of like hitting the F sharp at the twos, bringing it up to the G at the threes and fives, and just doing one, two, three there. So like a... Something like that. But there are some kind of variant endings that you can do as well. Like another way to end it, just do some dead string strums like that. And another way that happens is just kind of drop down and do a bend on four or the G. Something like that. Let's get a little wild with it. End the song. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.